Okay, so this is a video that you can try at home. Uh, this is a, a Daikin AC, uh, one of the better models that were ever made. It's an older model, but still wonderfully designed. Just going to quickly demonstrate how you can uh, unblock your drainage if you have a, a dripping AC. Um, a Daikin model is a fantastic brand. Very, very easy. So open up the front cover. We're going to dismantle everything and get it ready. The louvers are very, very flexible and the plastic that uh, uh, Daikin use um, doesn't get brittle over time. So you can actually just pull it out one hand like that. It's, got a, a, it's fastened um, very simply onto two servo motors over this side, actually one servo motor with a gear that connects the two. Um, so you can literally just flex it like that and pull it to the right hand side and then pull it off. Very simple. Try that with any other brand of AC and you'll probably break something. Um, cover comes off very simply as well too. You actually have to try pretty hard to break something with Daikin ACs. So this, this, these smaller models, um, so basically one horsepower to one and a half horsepower, um, even up to two horsepower, depending on the year of manufacture, there'll be screws hidden, just two screws underneath. The larger models, uh, two and a half horsepower, sometimes two horsepower, but anything over two horsepower will typically have one, two, three screws that are clearly visible once you open the casing. Um, that's it. So very, very simple to dismantle. You just remove that little cover there that's hiding where the screws would be. So really all you need to unblock the drainage for a Daikin AC is a screwdriver. Doesn't need to be cordless. Any, any uh, Phillips head screwdriver is fine. This one only has one screw in it because the other screw is missing. And we'll put a screw there for you later. Okay, and to get the casing off, as long as you want to check to make sure it's not siliconed on, and if it is siliconed on, uh, it's a very silly thing to do because obviously when you need to clean the AC, the casing needs to come off. So this one isn't. All you need to do to get the cover off is you can either stick your finger, hands underneath there and just push up. There's one clip there, one clip there, and one clip there in the back. Just a very simple plastic clip that holds the casing firmly into place. It won't come off, but it's very easy to get off. That's it. You take the casing off like so. Very simple. Again, any other brand of AC, literally any other brand of AC, never that straightforward. The drainage line is right here. The drainage line can actually, on, a, on any model of split type AC, can either be on the right hand side or the left hand side. Obviously, so that you have some uh, flexibility with where the AC is going to be installed and which way the drainage line is going to run. So it's installed on the right hand side here. This AC actually has block drainage, so it's been dripping. So we expect when we disconnect the drainage line over here that some condensate's gonna come out. That's why the bag is here. Um, if you don't have one of these, obviously most people don't. Just put a, a towel on the floor, make sure there's nothing underneath the AC. So when the water comes out, you're not gonna damage anything. There's also a plug on this side. So you can release that plug and See if any water comes out from there. That's obviously there. In, if the drainage line is installed on this side, then the drainage line will be there and there'll be a plug on this side. Drainage line, you just simply pull it off like so. That's it. Okay, some, some models of AC um, will have, even Daikin with some of their newer models, will have a screw on the back or a, some kind of clamp on the back. Mostly they don't. So it literally just comes off that easy, okay? You can see, if you can pass me the camera, and I'll just show you. You can actually see all the algae that's causing the blockage inside the drainage line, okay? I'll give that back to you. And then that's the other thing that you need. So as I said before, a screwdriver and just a short length of hose. That will fit just nicely in there. This is just garden hose, standard garden hose. Because you don't want to stick your mouth on that. That's pretty dirty and just give it a good blow. And that will usually do the trick. So it's now unblocked, problem solved. Simply just fit it back onto the back of the drainage pan like so, and no more dripping AC.
Very simple. Voila. Okay. Cheers. Cool. Thank you. Excellent.